Alright, it's Engine Knight here. Here's Daddy Dirt Bike. He's uh, doing some research on uh, Solitaire, I think. Yeah. And his, his little dirt bike. What do you say, buddy? What's happening? And here's what Mike was working on. He was working on these, uh, these bearings, but he was having trouble cutting them off because this little machine here, the, the cutoff tool really isn't uh, that great. You know, I don't think the machine has enough power or something, but anybody I know that has these little mills or these little lathes, they have trouble with the cutoff tool. So Mike is going to take them to his house and finish them for uh, baron holders, but uh, he's doing some research and development over here. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, well, I don't usually draw plans out for these little projects, but it's time to start working on the, uh, the, uh, the master rod here and the, all the articulating rods for the, uh, for the crankshaft. So I'm just, just drawing it out roughly on paper, you know, just so I can have something besides what's in my head. This is going to have to be modified in a few different, um, a few different ways than I had originally planned. You know, making changes as we go, pretty right, much. Right. So, uh, but like I said, yeah, I'm just laying. This is just a like a like a drawing of what this is right here, and I'm actually going to lose this section right here, which would be, you know, roughly about that right there. It's going to be milled flat. And there's still going to be the, the two pockets where the where these uh, through bolts went. It's pretty much been milled flat with the with the head of that screw there, and that's where the uh, master rod is going to be fastened to this uh, bearing here. Uh, it's actually going to be fastened to the bearing with these uh, screws, which actually they're not going to be screws anymore. What I'm going to do is. Uh, thread studs into the opposite end and there's going to be a stud sticking up like that and then like I said that that top seven eighths or sorry that top oh that was a close that was a good catch there that was um, the uh, the top's going to be missing and there's going to be a plate uh, the, the, the bottom plate of the master rod will be bolted on here well, we'll sit over the studs and we'll have two nuts holding it down to the uh, the bearing here and then the uh, the articulating rods are still kind of in my head as far as they're going to uh, be installed. It's probably something like milling a square channel across and then uh, hollowing out the section in the center for the bearing. The square pretty much there so that the, the, the pin, if you will, doesn't rotate. Well, it's, it's stationary with the... Uh, with the bearing, and then the rod will articulate on that. So it'll be uh, it'll be a, uh, a a pin, a round pin in the center where the bearing is, with square ends, so that the the square ends will slip into the into the uh, bearing and be tightened down with with bolts or screws or whatever. And then the center is where the uh, rods will pivot on. Okay. But uh, I'm hoping to get this all planned out tonight, so that next week we can actually get some progress done on it. So planning tonight, and then uh, you know, what practice. Is that, what is that main rod going to be made out of? Aluminum. Well, that's another thing I haven't really decided on yet. I think I'm going to do it in aluminum, just to keep the the weight of the rotating mass down. Because if I reduce the weight anywhere I can, that that's just the the less uh, the the less counterbalance I'm going to need to add onto the crankshaft here. I already planned on having to add like two uh, straps, so to speak right on here like that you know drilling and threading the uh, the crankshaft here to bolt on a uh, you know a uh, extra uh, load ex yeah, yeah well second secondary weight so what I'll, I'll put this in the lathe and I'll I'll turn this nice and uh, true and then work on my larger lathe making uh, uh, the components of the same radius that'll bolt on there and add a couple ounces maybe okay. even not that much you know, we'll, we'll have to see do all some right. uh, do some weighing of the various components when they're all done, and then decide what to do from there. So now you remember it's again this the, the engine's what what's it's going to rev to maybe 1200, 8, 1500 RPM, yeah. uh, and it's going to weigh a heck of a lot. So there's going to be a lot of vibration absorption and dampening just in the weight of the assembly, and and you know, the speeds are not going to be too excessive. You know I don't even know. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit of research and development to do yet, but again, it's all as we go, pretty much. Um, if we hit a snag, that's just part of the project. You got to work around it. 
All right, I'm going to let you finish uh, doing a little research and development. I'll check back with you later on. All right, sounds good. All right. All right. I didn't get a chance to talk to Mike uh, before he left, but uh, he just did a little more figuring. He didn't really do much more work on this, but uh, that's where he's at. I mean, he's he's working on his main connecting rods now. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll try to give you a little update every once in a while, even though there ain't much to it. But uh, that's where he is. He's he's working on that right now. All right, enough of this.